Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rahawa Kakwadash. Double honors are to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well. And uh, Shalom to the Hope Elect. That's uh, continuously plowing in this work. That's uh, giving our diligence to make it call election sure and our faith, true sincerity. Now, uh, the topic of this video is going to be entitled The Author and the Finisher. Because our Lord, who these people in the call uh, Jesus, which his true name is Yahweh Shai, is indeed the author and finisher of our faith. All right, because Yahweh Shai, which him being uh, the head of this uh, this foundation, which is uh, he's known as the uh, the chief cornerstone, and <clears throat> he's the one to uh, lead the charge towards the kingdom. All right, because. You know, he suffered uh, being in the flesh, you know, being um, dishonored among his own people. And ultimately was uh, delivered up to, to the Romans to be crucified by his own people. And since he did that, now he's sitting at the right hand of the Heavenly Father. So, therefore... He is set as an example of um, what to do in order to inherit everlasting life and the kingdom. Okay? So that's why we look towards Yahweh Shai for our salvation. Alright? Because that's the reason why the Heavenly Father set his son first to, uh, to do the task to where he was appointed. And to finish it, okay, because that that goes into um, another topic, which our Lord's will uh, I'll be able to do through the Spirit, which uh, goes into um, the beginning. All right, because that's why Scripture speak about uh, regeneration. All right, <clears throat> because the Lord knew that. His uh, disciples, because I, I, I'm just, I'll just throw this quick fact uh, for a quick second, that um, his disciples, which later became apostles, they all died. All right, and time continued the way it, it way uh, it was, man. All right, he had different events that happened after uh, all the apostles died, <clears throat> and see now we're in the last days, to where those same apostles. That were promised to uh, see the return of our Lord. They're back today, so, so they'd be able to see the return of our Lord. So how, you know, this this is the, uh, pose a question to these so-called uh, wacky Christians, or uh, you know, should I let me rephrase that? These wacky Christians, right? These are uh, bugged out Christians. You know what? If the apostles all died, then you know how how is the um, that promise going to be fulfilled? All right. Those same individuals had to be back today. So, those same individuals are indeed back, and they are following the example of our Lord Yahweh Shai, like as he did uh, back then when he was walking the earth in the flesh. Because they didn't have the understanding back then during that time of certain uh, prophecies. All right, because they they were thinking that the kingdom was gonna you know come back right then and there because they they knew about the uh, the prophecies of the, of the fourth beast. All right, and they were thinking that well, since they're in that time, you know, they think that that uh, the kingdom was gonna be established then. But no, it still had to be more prophecies that had to be fulfilled, which wasn't written down yet. All right, so those prophecies were written down. All right, because. You know, there's there's no more writing anymore. There's, you know, there's no more writing down of anything. You know, there's there's nothing else that's going to be added to the Bible in this point in time right now because those things that were written back then um, in 
the Old Testament and New Testament, they have to be fulfilled now. All right. So there's no more additions to the Bible. Now everything's going to play out the way it's supposed to. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures. Like I said, you know, our Lord is uh, the prime example of someone who suffered. And um, now he received glory. So it's the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and the, the second verse says, Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. All right? Because, like it says right here, man, even our Lord, Yahweh Shai, knew that there was going to be joy at the end of that suffering. The same way we, we know that it's going to be joy at the end of our suffering. Okay? So he endured the cross for that, man. And it also says, uh, despising the shame, and it's set down at the right hand of the Father. Uh, it's like it's sit down, sit down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And also, Salaki as well. I'm in transit right now, so you know, trying to trying to duck and dodge through traffic. You know, trying to read and drive at the same time. It's kind of difficult, but um. I'm going to reread the second verse. It says, Looking unto you, how shy the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of, of the throne of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? So, now he's set down at the right hand, man. Since he has suffered the, the afflictions. And guess what? Since we're going through the same thing, those same uh, inflictions that he went through, which is only a, a little compared to what he went through, we're going to receive the same. But he's going to have the preeminence. You know, that's also written written in the scriptures by him having preeminence, in which uh, preeminence, the word preeminence means uh, to have first of everything. All right. Now um, I looked in that word. Uh, Author, right? Author and finisher. Let's see if I can get it real quick. Oh uh, man, it's coming down real hard. It's like it. Uh, it's like it. I can just ran into some uh, some difficulties on the or discrepancies on the road. Uh, you have to bear with me for a minute while I try to get through this. Uh, You know, I just came by some heavy rain. Let's see, uh, okay. okay, much better. All right, now I'm gonna read uh, the definition of that word author, right? Which word author means uh, archegos, right? Archegos. Which means uh, the chief leader, prince. All right, so Yahweh Shai is the chief leader of our faith, right? Which started the ministry back when he was in the flesh. It says, uh, one that takes the lead in anything and thus affords an example, a predecessor in a matter, a uh, pioneer. All right, so Yahweh Shah is the one that has taken the lead in our faith to do this work. All right, so like this, like the definition says, he's also an example of uh, what what to follow, man. Okay, now. Um, it says captain in one of the words, the words that's uh, synonymous with this word are archego, right? And I believe that's it on this road, uh, word, it's like it. And that's the word uh, finisher, right? Which is uh, uh, tele, tele, uh, tele Otis, right? Tele Otis. 
which means uh, a perfecter. All right, a perfecter. So, the Lord, being in the flesh, He suffered the uh, the issues of being in the flesh. All right, because even our Lord was uh, tempted while He was in the flesh. All right, He went through temptations, and He He also got weak in the spirit. You know, when it uh, came time, came close to the time for Him to um, go on the cross. All right, but. You know he 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 bit down, and he um he bared the suffering. All right, so he has uh, perfected the work. All right, because when he was in the flesh, you know he did it perfectly, man. You know he didn't go off. He didn't he didn't go off and offend at any point whatsoever. And it says, uh, one who has in his own person raised faith to its perfection. All right, because when he was in the flesh, he also did works and. The works that he did was according to faith. All right, because see, in that in that day, the set appointed time that our, our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai set for his men to be magnified in that day through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai. Guess what, man? It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna the, the works that we're gonna do is gonna be an example of our faith. All right, because you have to believe in the things that in in the works that are being performed, man. All right, because Yahweh Shai, even, uh, even when he was performing the works, he would always ask the question to the ones that he would perform the, uh, the work on, right? That he would um, perform miracles on. He would ask them, "Well, do they do they have faith that he can do it?" All right, and if they believe, then you know it will be on it'll, uh, the miracles will be performed on them, man. But if they didn't believe, then um, guess what? Then those works are not you're not gonna uh. uh it's not going to work for him, man. You know, it's not going to be shown to those individuals that don't believe. Because it was it was times to where Yahweh Shah was in, in uh, big big crowds. And um, the people were were all on him, right? They were all, you know, bump, you know, bumping into him and, you know, uh, touching him. But they didn't have faith because, you know, his works wasn't, wasn't performed on those people. Right? Because they didn't have faith. All right? You know, which uh, actually there's an account of that with uh, the woman with the issue of blood. With um, you know, everybody was you know, all on your house shot, but when she touched him, his garment, right? He felt the uh, the power leave him. Okay, because that woman believed. So it says, uh, and so set before us. The highest example of faith. All right. So, what what other example would, would you want other than our Lord Yahweh Shai, man? Yeah, we have uh, individuals that's in this in this thing of ours that that we uh, have uh, much due honors to, and they show their their uh, faith, but they also following their example. All right. And which their example is uh, who Yahweh Shai. All right, because. They had leaders that, were, that they were under, all right? And then the leaders that they were under, they had leaders, man, all right? So it's all, um, I don't want to say a cycle, but it's, it's pretty much like a, it's like a line, right? It's like you you in a, a single file line and then you follow the, the leader of the line. And that's what it's like, man, you know? You have a line leader. You know, you know how it was back in elementary school. You have a line leader, and then they were they were walking. You know, um, but that line leader would always follow the uh, the teacher. All right, and then you have the one person behind the line leader follow follow that um, follow that person, the line leader, and then the, the next person and the next person. So that's how it is in this thing of ours, man. All right, now. Uh, I want to go back. I want to grab another precept. This is uh, Matthew's the eleventh chapter. I'm starting at the twenty nine verse. It says, uh, "Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light." All right. So, is the yoke of Yahweh Shai and the burden of Yahweh Shai? 
it's easy and it's light, man. All right, this is a, a, a light thing compared to what he went through. All right. I mean, if you think about it, man, this is this is nothing, man. All right. But you still have your house shot that set that example for the rest of the ones, the rest of the followers to follow after this lead. Because really, that's what he went through is is, is a huge, the, the biggest faith booster that you can ever have, man. All right. <clears throat> Knowing that your house shot went through the same things that we we are uh, we going through. You know. Now, um, I had another precept in mind. I can't think of it right now. Is that is that the tip of my tongue? Ah, I can't think of it right now, man. It's Satan. But um, you know, concerning your how shot, man. Look, that's that's why once again, you know, we can't save ourselves, man. Only your how shot is able to get us up out of here. All right. Because, you know, Yahweh Shai, when he was in the flesh, uh, during the time when he was um, with his disciples, you know, there was a, it was a scripture that, that's written, and I'll roughly paraphrase it. It says, um, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is indeed weak. And the reason he said that is, because, is not only because, you know, the disciples, you know, uh, kept falling asleep, but also he was talking about himself as well because his spirit was willing right but his flesh was was weak man all right you know he was weak in the flesh you know he had ailments in the body just like you have brothers have ailments in the body man all right when you read about um actually let's see if i can get it real quick uh a man acquainted with grief let's see if i can find it uh, let's see, this is Isaiah the 53rd chapter in the uh, third verses. This, this is to the point. It says, uh, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. All right. And that word grief means uh, sickness, man. Sicknesses, ailments. All right. So the whole time Yahweh Shah was, was doing the work of the Heavenly Father, he was dealing with sicknesses, man, and ailments in the body. All right. Among other things, man. All right. Now, I, the, the scripture just came back to me. You know, uh, Brock, I tell you how about Shimei on Shai. Uh, that's lucky. It's like, yeah. Uh, it's the book of Romans, the eighth chapter. And um let's see, I'm uh, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Verse 29 says, For whom he did for a new, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Alright? So and this is a pre this is a, a full blown predestination precept, man. Alright? So the ones who are meant to uh receive this and to take hold of it. They are the ones that are going to be conformed to the image of the Son of the Heavenly Father, who is Yahweh Shai. All right, it says so that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. All right, oh, so wait a second. So that same person has been predestinated to receive this, right? He's going to be known as the firstborn among many brethren, and that actually uh, it goes deeper than that because you know, hey, that goes right back into the beginning when everything was formed. All right, was well, like I said, I, I don't want to throw too much info you know out there you know i want to um choke the new brothers with, with meat the ones that just now come into this thing you know like lord's will i'm I'll go, I'll go into a separate video concerning that topic if the spirit jumps on me but um you know the, that's the firstborn among many brethren so that's that's how the two-thirds are going to come back all right because the scripture got to be fulfilled where it says, uh, and all Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. All right. Because two thirds, you know, two thirds are not going to come on the chariots with us, man. All right. You're not going to see Lil Wayne in um, two chains and guys like uh, you're 
you know these these other uh, these big big name celebrities, they're not gonna come in the chariots with us, man. All right, you're not gonna see Twenty One Savage in uh, in a chariot with uh, apostle uh, one one of the apostle elders, man, or, or any of the elders or the, or the high ranking brothers, man. All right, they're gonna have to come back to us, man. That's why the, the scriptures speak about us as being the firstborn among many brethren, since we are conformed to the image of our Son. All right. Actually, I'm going to look at that word conform and then I'm going to close it on out because I want to get a definition real quick. Uh, it's like you. That word conform means uh, symorphous, right? Which means having the same form as another, similar, conform to. All right. It says uh, words, you know, the same, the same uh, word. In the Greek, which is the other words that you see, it says conform to, and it says fashioned like unto. All right, so to be fashioned like unto something, you have to you have to be molded into something, man. So through a process of time, you know, once you come into the truth, you know, you're 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 being molded into the image of His Son Yahweh Shai. All right, well, that's a good lesson to go into, man. Be fashioned out into like our Lord. <laughs> Just thinking of topics, just thinking of the top of my head. It's like you. Um, let's see here. Now, right here it says strong definitions, right? It says um, jointly formed, right? From from G forty eight sixty two and uh, G thirty four forty four. Oh, four four four. Uh, it says uh, jointly formed, i.e., similar. Conform to fashion like unto so that's, that's pretty much it on this definition so to be fashioned to be molded into the image of our Lord Yahweh Shai okay so that's pretty much it on this video uh, Lord's will this was edifying to the body of Yahweh Shai unto the members of the whole elect and uh, until next time uh, once again I want to give all praise honor and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai Rahawah Kakwadash double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone that are still to this very day continue to rule very well. That is um, feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, headstrong with all strength. And um, Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect that um, is also doing the same things and also spreading his ministry and his gospel to the other members of the